assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen today we're going to discuss a very important topic which is related with business a halal business a very genuine business, which has got lot of potentials indeed half of the muslim population needs that product and i hope you understand what i'm going to talk about today we want to discuss how to start a successful hijab business you know almost half of the muslim population they consist of females and of course many of them a large number of them they want to be a hijab but are you ready to take an important step and actually start doing this business so let's uh, try to understand how to uh, start this business if you're interested in doing so and of course there'll be a lot of details and i hope uh, you will be able to resonate at least with some of the details which we're going to discuss today so let's get started without any further ado so brothers and sisters and specifically this topic is related with sisters and of course they need some marketing or sales management from someone maybe their brother maybe their business partner maybe their husband maybe their father or maybe their son i don't know but of course this is a viable business not only for women but also for men right so hijab has become a symbol of empowerment fashion cultural identity for millions of muslims around the world as a result the demand for hijabs and hijab related products has skyrocketed in recent years which makes it an excellent opportunity for entrepreneurs to start a successful hijab business whether you are a seasoned business person or just starting out Today's discussion, today's episode will provide you with the steps you need to take to launch and grow your hijab business in a short time. You know, your background in mainstream fashion could be a great asset in setting up a hijab business. A modest clothing or Muslim fashion line could include more than just hijabs. A hijab fashion label could produce a wide variety of products such as everyday hijabs, wedding and bridal hijabs, abayas, modest dresses, Islamic gifts, Islamic head scarves, Eid cards, Eid gifts, Ramadan gifts, and Ramadan cards. And of course, there are a lot of other products which you could add into this business. There is no limit. Sky is the limit, basically. You could even start a local hijab shop in your area, specializing in wedding hijabs only. Of course, that's a possibility and you should give it a try if you are interested. Understanding your target audience to our understanding is essential for success regardless of your level of expertise. But how can a hijab business get off the ground or grow? So brothers and sisters, if you are serious in doing this business, the very first thing which you have to do, the very first step which you have to take to actually start this business is that you got to identify your niche and target market. As you know, the first step in starting a successful hijab business is to identify your niche and target market. The hijab market is vast and there are many different types of hijab styles and accessories available. So it's important for you to determine which segment of the market you want to focus on. Of course, you cannot do everything for everybody. You got to focus. This is very important and perhaps this is the most important thing for you to actually become a successful hijab business owner. You know, you could focus on a specific type of hijab, as we mentioned, such as head scarves, turban style hijabs or sports hijabs. You could also focus on a particular demography, such as hijab for young Muslim women, hijabs for women with disabilities or hijabs for older women. Once you have identified your niche and target market, you can then focus your efforts on providing products and services that meet the specific needs and wants of your target customers. So the second thing which we're going to do is basically, you got to research the competition. Once you have identified your niche and target market, the next step is to research the competition. It's essential to understand who your competitors are, what they offer, 
and what sets you apart from them. You can start by searching online for hijab businesses in your niche and target market and take note of their prices, their products and marketing strategy. You can also conduct a survey of your target customers to determine what they're looking for in a hijab business and what they think sets you apart from your competitors. And brothers and sisters and would-be entrepreneurs, after you've taken care of your niche, your target market and the competition, the next thing, the third step which you got to take is develop a business plan. A business plan is a crucial tool for starting and growing your hijab business. It provides a roadmap for your business, including your goals, strategies, and projected financials. A business plan will also help you secure funding and attract investors if necessary. For expanding your hijab fashion business, you got to write and implement a thorough business strategy. A standard format for business plan consists of a few sections. For example, in the beginning, you will add an executive summary, a company statement, a marketing and sales strategy approach, a product overview, and a description of operations, the execution. Your strategic plan should explain the organization's values, its products and services, its target markets, and its strategies for manufacturing, selling, and distributing its goods to its target users. This business plan should be used as a map, roadmap to help you navigate your business strategy in the coming months and weeks and months and years, of course. Keep in mind that the religious and cultural preferences of your target market when developing your strategy for a fashion hijab fashion business are important. You got to understand that first. So the fourth thing which we would like to mention is basically choose a business structure. Once you have developed a business plan, the next step is to choose a business structure. The most common business structures for small businesses are sole proprietorship, partnership, limited liability company, and corporation. So which business structure suits you that all depend on all depends on you your finances and your expertise and your future plans each type of business structure has its own advantages and disadvantages so it's essential for you to choose the structure that is right for your hijab business factors to consider when choosing a hijab structure include liability protection taxes and ease of administration and of course you got to understand you got to have a vision of clear vision of what you plan to do with your business in the coming months and years so the fifth thing the fifth step which we would like to mention for you to actually start doing hijab business is that you got to register your business once you chosen a business structure then this will be the next logical step this involves obtaining any necessary licenses and permits and registering for taxes such as sales tax and business tax of course the details may vary from country to country and, and even from region to region so you got to confirm it uh, with your government as to what needs to be done to register your business and we would like to mention that it's also a good a good idea to register your business name and get a trademark to protect your brand this will prevent others from using your business name and prevent confusion in the marketplace in the coming years in the future number 6 step in this regard is that you got to manage your business logistics once you've charted the course for your business, the next step, of course, is to put the necessary, put up the necessary infrastructure in place. Where will you get the main ingredients from? Who will oversee the production tasks? Are you planning to purchase it from China or from any other place? 
is you got to make a decision house branding actual publishing custom cutting and sewing are all important things which you got to take care of before you can actually start a business and of course you also have to if you if you just planning to sell it and you don't want to become a manufacturer then you what what the thing which you got to do is that basically you got to confirm as to who your go, as supplier is going to be what their quality is and what their pricing points are and how reliable are they are in terms of business so you got to take care of all these things and of course uh, it's important to rem remind that uh, once you have uh, purchased any products then you got to make sure that your products uh, whenever a customer makes a purchase whenever customer places an order uh, the products in question they should be able to reach him or her easily smoothly and speedily so it's your duty as a business owner to make sure that they are happy with you know there are advantages and disadvantages to each of these options publishing may help you save money but it does not allow for customization or originality you have more freedom to experiment with your items whether you're selling under your brand or at retail price cutting and sewing to order gives you room for innovation and originality but of course at a high cost so please take care of all these things before you are able to actually start a business finance product price delivery process and labor are some of the other logistical concern for a new fashion business the key to creating a successful hijab business is to iron out the deals from the beginning last but not the least point and step involved in starting a hijab business is that you got to advertise products in the market what's more advertising on the global market is set to reach more potential buyers in your target area and it doesn't take a lot of money to get started using technology based services such as facebook instagram linkedin twitter or whatever the case may be can streamline your operations and save you time and time and effort halal times could be one option you know we can help you more easily manage your presence across multiple platforms as well if the need arises of course these uh, uh, multiple platforms could include uh facebook instagram linkedin twitter or any other profile which you may want to think of the halal times can provide you with opportunities to help you reach out to your target market easily so brothers and sisters at the end we would like to mention that you know you got to check the latest trends the combination of fashion and hijab is a style that never never goes out of fashion both the social significance of the hijab and its many iterations are subject to periodic revision as social mores change there's little doubt that this year's green trend will look very different from last year's hijab trend this means keeping up with fashion trends and updating your hijab wardrobe accordingly is important for the success of your business real shoppers will be constantly updating the hijab range to match the latest needs of your customer owning a hijab business is a great way to make money while normalizing the hijab and modest fashion and helping more muslim women fulfill their religious obligation to allah without smart plans the ambition of starting your own fashion business would remain just that for many aspiring fashion designers it takes dedication effort investment and untiring energy to start a hijab fashion business if you put in the time and effort you can make your goal a reality ups and you know ups and downs are inevitable in any business uh, of course in hala a hijab business as well but success is yours if you can keep at it so brothers and sisters i hope uh, today's podcast was quite useful for you guys so if you got any questions please feel free to contact us and inshallah we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can with the answers you want us to give to you guys thank you so much and till then assalam alaikum